today on the finale of FNAF Unsolved. Is Golden Freddy really who he seems to be? What happened to the crying child and the fifth victim? Welcome to the season finale of FNAF Unsolved. That's crazy. That is crazy. We've got through another season. Today's episode is going to work a little bit differently. I've done a live stream with you guys talking about this topic and you're going to see some clips from it. And we'll talk about what we are going to talk about. Um, and it's very exciting. So let's get straight into it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do like a fake FNAF Unsolved. Are you ready for this? This is my impression. This is the first time you guys are seeing me record something like this, okay? <clears throat> Gotta do my, my exercise. <sighs> there were five kids. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, no, 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 no. June 26th of an unknown year. <laughs> I've, I, if you've noticed, I've said that in literally every single episode of, of FNAF Unsolved. Um, today, <laughs> we talk about the fifth victim. <laughs> Look at the title, you stupid idiot. Yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing in this live stream. Everything's a bit cringy, and I don't like it. Oh, and by the way, if you want to watch the full live stream, uh, it will be in the description. First things first. What is Golden Freddy? There's five missing children in the missing children's incident of debatably 1985. I've done a whole video on that. There's five children uh, and there's four animatronics. And you're like, well, surely they can't possess them because there's only four to possess. But then you find out that there is Golden Freddy. Okay, who is an, who is an old model of Fredbear. He was Fredbear back it, when Fredbear's Family Diner opened, and over the years, he's kind of become Golden Freddy, you know? Um, but the thing about Golden Freddy is he is more powerful than all of the other animatronics. He can glitch through walls, he can teleport, he can create hallucinations that say, it's me. We don't really know who Golden Freddy is. Like, we've picked out people, and nothing really works anymore. <laughs> Cassidy. Let's talk about Cassidy. Cassidy is a member of the Missing Children's Incident. Now, the thing about Cassidy is Cassidy uh, actually has a meaning as a name. I mean, all names have meanings, but the name Cassidy means curly hair. Very strange detail. Um, now, that is one person who could be Golden Freddy. The other person it could be is the crying child. The reason for this is because um, who else could he be? He got bitten by Fredbear, who becomes Golden Freddy, because um, he is a victim, right? He is a victim to Freddy's in general. He is a victim to Freddy's, so he got bitten and potentially is in Golden Freddy. That's another theory. This is so sad. Everyone's asking who is Golden Freddy, but nobody's asking how is Golden Freddy. This is where it starts getting confusing because we've seen recently in Fazbear Fright's books, I'm, I'm doing Fazbear Fright episodes of FNAF Unsolved off, off of the series, but just an extra detail, like in the Fazbear Fright's books, especially in the New Kid and the Stitch Wraith, we've seen that two souls can be in one body. So, potentially, these two children, the crying child and uh, Cassidy, are both Golden Freddy. I have... Okay, I'm just going to say my theory. I'm going to say my theory. Let's say you are a person... I mean, everyone's a person with two different emotions, right? So, let's say this is, this is my happy emotion... Uh, this is my, oh, I'm positive, I want to do everything emotion. This is my, oh, I'm so lazy, I hate everything, I hate myself. 
<laughs> I don't want to do anything. Um, like, I, I will make a decision in my mind. I'm like, hmm, should I go to work today? Yes, yes, yes. You get money. Oh my god, you might get fame. Fame. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also, you have a nice walk. And also, you get a discount or something. <laughs> and then this side of you is going like, no, I want to sleep more. I. <laughs> I'm just watching myself and cringing. Um, we've got that, right? We've got like two emotions. I feel like Golden Freddy could work like that. Crying Child is on this side, like, leave him to rest. He is innocent. And. Cassidy is like, no, I cannot leave him to rest. He is not innocent. He killed me. Um, and I'm talking about Ultimate Cuffs tonight here, by the way. Um, because the one you should not have killed can is, is, is Golden Freddy. So it's there where you choose whether or not it's Cassidy or it's the bite victim. If you think we play as Mike in Ultimate Cuffs tonight, then... The vengeful spirit, the uh, the one you should not have killed, has to be bite victim. Otherwise, if you're playing as William Afton, it has to be um, Cassidy, because those like because Michael killed his brother, and because William killed Cassidy. So that makes sense. Um, we play as Michael in the FNAF, the main FNAF games like FNAF One, where. Golden Freddy says it's me yes it is him it is his brother who he killed and he is guilty for it he is guilty he is seeing these hallucinations for it so that's kind of my theory and um, I think Golden Freddy is two people um, that mess with sinful people um, people who have done bad things to them um, so that's why like in FNAF 1 for example Golden Freddy can't be at rest because Michael Michael Afton killed his brother so that's half of Golden Freddy like you know what we have to go out there we have to go ah uh, stuff like that and then the same with Ultimate Custom Night where Cassie is like go ah anyway I'm talking too much yes past Ozone you are talking too much uh, oh, that's the other thing to note. Uh, in the new kid, the odd detail about the new kid is Kelsey is the one spring trapped or whatever. Uh, and then when they go back, there's a new child in there. And that new child is uh, perceived to have curly hair. So you, you'd think that's Cassidy, right? I don't know. It's like Golden Freddy is very powerful. And I don't know how powerful a soul is. Like,. <laughs> I don't know if I can charge my phone with it or I can destroy a, a planet with it, you know? <laughs> but uh, a soul, like, how powerful is a soul? I don't know. But I know that if you have two souls in one animatronic, that's probably going to cause some mayhem, right? Right? Or am I just overthinking this? But um, you've also got the possibility of Cassidy equals Bite Victim. I hate that thought. But it's there. Like, could could that be a thing? No idea. No idea. Uh, I haven't really thought about that all too much because I hate saying Cassidy Afton. But then again, um, we got a confirmed name for Golden Freddy and we don't have a name yet for Crying Child and maybe Scott is waiting for us to put the two together and go Cassidy equals go, uh, Bite Victim. I'm sure though that if that was the case, that Cassidy was the Bite Victim, um, that he would have already made a Fazbear Fright story about it to clear it all up. So unfortunately, that is it. There will be a lot more on Golden Freddy in the final season of FNAF Unsolved. Tell me if you like this format of FNAF Unsolved with the live stream. I will be streaming more in the future, so make sure you check that out. But I guess we should end. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this stream. Um, I, like, honestly, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> um, we've had quite a few viewers, uh, and I'm very happy, and I, I will do more streams in the future. 
I will do more streams in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you later. And with the fifth victim of the missing children's incident and a crying child who probably is Golden Freddy too, this case remains unsolved. That was so cringe. <laughs>